in February 1999, they had the 10 hottest couples. Now, if you look at this, you'll see that some of these couples are no longer hot. <laughs> they are not, okay? Here's my 15 minutes of fame. That was me. Okay? I was 242 pounds, and my husband and I went to uh, a local center, and we lost over 150 pounds together. It was exciting. It was the best time of our marriage. Life was great. And this was February 1999. I gained all my weight back. Humiliated. I was just mortified. Millions of people had saw my success. And always, if you ever lost weight before, there's people in the background saying, she's going to put it back on. They're going to gain that weight back. And both of us did. So in 2004, I took a drastic step and had gastric bypass surgery. Now, some people say you took the easy way out. I will tell you that making the decision to put your life on the line to have a drastic surgery is not an easy way out. But I made that decision and have kept off 105 pounds for six years now. My husband wasn't willing to make drastic steps, and his health continually declined on high blood pressure and diabetes. That is very prevalent in the African-American community. And because you are medicated, you think that you're not sick. It's not really sick, because I'm still going along. His insurance ran out in November. By December 26, 2008, he had passed away from complications of diabetes and high blood pressure leaving my children fatherless. Now, I'm telling you this to say that sometimes you might have to make a drastic step, whether it's in your personal life, whether you need to change a job, maybe you need to get out of a situation, whatever the situation may be. But you have to look inward and say, is it worth taking an extraordinary step in order to save my life? I wish my husband had listened. I wish he had taken the drastic step. But I did, and I'm ready, and I'm here to tell you about it.